Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find the sum of first n odd numbers. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in a angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Let us write wide main function curly open brace and here I'm going to declare all the necessary variable of type integer n comma i is equal to 1 and sum is equal to 0. So here I have taken i is equal to 1 because we have the natural numbers that always starts from 1. So that's the reason we are uh, starting from 1. First n odd numbers. So we have to find the sum. So that's the reason we have a set sum is equal to 0 here. Next we'll write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user to enter the number using printf statement. In a double quotation mark I'm going to write enter the number. Next end the double quotation mark put semicolon and we'll use scanf statement to receive the input from the user through keyboard. And in a double quotation mark, I'll write percentage D format specifier, which indicates it is an integer type of data. Put comma ampersand of this variable n and put semicolon. Now we are going to use do while looping statement. Do is a keyword. It should be written in lowercase letter. Curly open brace indicates this is the beginning of body of the do while looping construct. Now I'm going to write sum is equal to sum plus i because I want to perform addition that is sum of first n odd numbers here i'm going to write i is equal to i plus 2 why i plus 2 because here i is taken as 1 1 is odd number so next iteration 1 plus 2 it will become 3 3 is the next odd number 3 plus 2 will become 5 that is the next odd number and so on here we are going to put semicolon curly closing brace and now i'm going to write while while is a keyword it should be written in lowercase letter and now inside this bracket i'm going to write condition i is less than or equal to n and put semicolon now we are going to print the sum using printf statement here in a double quotation mark i'll write sum is equal to percentage d and the double quotation mark put comma and write the variable sum so that is holding the actual value right yes next we are going to write here get ch function then curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the number so here i'm going to write enter the number for example i'm going to enter 5 so here n is equated with value 5 just because of this scanf next do sum is equal to sum plus i so here i'm going to write sum is equal to sum for the first time it is set to zero what is going to happen if we do not equate sum is equal to zero then it takes the garbage value garbage value means it is the value which is already stored in the memory location where this sum is uh, labeled okay so sum is a variable that is the name given to a particular memory location that memory location may consisting of the value which will be previously executed by some other program so that value is not at all required here that is garbage for us so hence it is holding garbage value in order to reset it we are going to write sum is equal to zero so for the first time sum is what zero plus i i value is what i value is equal with one so 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 will be stored in sum. Now, so i is equal to i plus 2. Now, i is incremented by 2. Now, i value was 1. 1 plus 2 will become 3. So, is 3 is less than or equal to 5? Yes, condition is true. Once the condition is true, again control transfers to do. And it is going to perform sum is equal to sum plus i. So it is going to perform sum is equal to. Now sum value has changed from 0 to now it is 1. 1 plus i value is what? 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. Right. So next uh, we are going to increment the value of i by 2. Now 
i value earlier it was 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 is equated to i now i value is 5 so next we are going to check the condition 5 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true once again control transfers to do and it is going to execute sum is equal to sum is now 4 plus i value is what 5 is equal to 9 will be stored in sum now we are going to increment the value of i by 2 earlier it was 9 okay sorry uh, earlier it was 5 correct so 5 plus 2 is 7 is 7 less than or equal to 5 no condition fails once the condition fails then the control comes out of this do while looping construct and it is going to execute the next statement here it is going to print sum is equal to this percentage d format specifier is associated with the variable sum the value stored in a sum is 9 you can easily calculate the first odd numbers in between 1 to 5 1 3 and 5 so 3 plus 5 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 so hence it is printing sum is equal to 9 so let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c plus plus compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and now i'm going to press enter now let us execute this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter the number for example i'm going to enter 5 and then press enter here it is printing sum is equal to 9 i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you